We're dressed and we're ready to go. I look slightly terrifying, but that's okay because we are visiting Amanda's Studio Ghibli themed island. I'm excited to take a look around. I was originally gonna dress up like Chihiro, but then I was like, you know what? No face is a little bit more silly. All right, hello, here we are. Welcome everyone. We are on Amanda's Island called Cavanston. This is a Studio Ghibli themed island and oh my gosh, I'm ready for this. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, this is, isn't this the, um, oh, I can't remember. Isn't this like the Chinese word for like fortune or something? My mom always had one of these like calendars that you get from the supermarket for Lunar New Year turned upside down to like empty money into the house. So this is the map of Cavanston. It's got a really interesting map design. As you can see, we've got one of our villagers kind of right in the middle, surrounded by water. They've got their own private property. So we have three residents on this island. We have Kevin, Amanda, and Tristan. And we also have a full set of Sanrio villagers. We have Etoile, Chai, Marty, Toby, Chelsea, and Rilla, as well as four regular um, villagers, which are Hamfrey, Kat, Judy, and Raymond. Okay, so we're gonna start off over here first. If you guys have ever watched Spirited Away, one of the very first scenes that you see is Chihiro driving up to this area with her family, and I believe they're moving to their new house, and they arrive at this spot that, you know, kind of has a secret tunnel and this is kind of the first thing they see before they enter the world of spirited away this looks very much like the first scene in the movie so heading from the front entryway we're gonna head over to the left oh my gosh this is so good it's calcifer so calcifer the flame there he's from Howl's moving castle he's the little flame demon but there is a scene in spirited away where they want to cook something, so they throw him on the fire, they throw a pan on his head, and they start cooking eggs and bacon. And he's just a really cranky flame demon. So the fact that he's there, I just, I love that so much. Bail, your bacon burn. Anyway, this is Raymond's house. I guess Raymond looks like he owns a food stall. Four Spirited Away, if you've never watched the movie, there's like a scene. There's like these demons and these ghosty things. They've cooked this delicious food and they're like wafting the smell towards her. And I think what happens in the movie is that if you eat this food, you get turned into a pig. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a, a recreation of this food scene at the very beginning of the movie. This is another Studio Ghibli reference. This is Kiki's Bakery from Kiki's Delivery Service, right by the ocean as well. It's a very, very beautiful and colorful movie. Amazing. So the thing about this island is that it references multiple Studio Ghibli movies. So not just Spirited Away. There's a lot of different references we're gonna see here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Wow, this is so cute. Okay, in Spirited Away, there's a scene where the main character Chihiro comes across these little soot sprites. They're like little puff balls of ash. There's this like creepy looking guy with really long arms and he feeds them by giving them like these little star candies. They're like little sugar, sugar candies. So all these little like puff balls are running around and he just throws some candy on the ground. They grab it and they like scurry away. But this is what they look like. Oh my God. There's little soot sprites with star fragments up and down the beach. Over here, I don't think these areas are referencing any parts specifically in Spirited Away, but they do look beautiful. This looks like a seaside cafe or restaurant. This is like peak decoration. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. As you guys know, Animal Crossing just did the Sanrio collaboration and they released a bunch of, you know, Sanrio themed items. But this, this just looks like a pink and green, like really cute springy area, which my character does not really fit in with at all, right? So this is the Hello Kitty area and this, oh my gosh, she has all the different Hello Kitty items on display. I think out of all the Sanrio item sets, this is probably my favorite because I'm a huge fan of Hello Kitty and I love everything they came out with for her. It's the Totoro area! So it looks like the main way for us to get down there is through the, the pipe. 
But this is the forest in My Neighbor Totoro movie. And as you can see, we have the big Totoro down there taking a nap. That's one of the scenes in the movie. Uh, but we also have the baby Totoros down here. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, the next area is referencing Princess Kaguya. I've actually never watched Princess Kaguya before, but I've kind of heard of the story. She like comes out of a piece of bamboo or something like that. So it's something to do with bamboo. Oh my gosh. I don't recognize this. This is not Spirited Away as well, right? Oh, this is the, yeah, okay, okay. I remember now, I remember now, I remember. Oh my gosh, okay. It's coming back to me now. So Chihiro, I believe this is when she first comes across the bathhouse and she sees this boat pull up in front of the bathhouse and it's a big like steamer boat. I think it's what it's called. These red outfits over here represent the different spirits that are all coming to, you know, visit the bathhouse. So they come off of the boat and then they come along this path over here. They go up the stairs and then, oh my gosh, you guys, it's the bathhouse and it's me yay look it's me oh so this is supposed to be the bathhouse from spirited away so you know what let's let's head into this bathhouse let's see what's going on in here <gasps> it's the bathhouse you guys oh my gosh this is wild in spirited away there's all of these different rooms that the spirits can head into and this is where they go to soak they have a little soaky soak <gasps> oh my gosh this is the munching scene uh, it's me so there's an iconic scene in spirited away where this demon called no face the people in the bathhouse start to bring him food and he starts eating and he kind of gets out of control. Like he just starts eating and then he can't stop eating and then he starts like morphing into this giant creature. And like, you think that his face, you think that the mask is actually his face, but it's not. He has a mouth in his body. So he just starts like shoveling food into him and it's kind of freaky. And he goes a little bit wild there. <gasps> This is the room in Spirited Away where all of the workers sleep. This is like the sleeping quarters, but this is the bedroom from Spirited Away. Amazing work. Wow, this is beautiful. I love the lighting in there as well. Over here, we are heading into this room, which I'm pretty sure is the toy room, like the giant baby. And they have this like extravagant room with a ton of toys and pillows and stuff thrown around. The grandma's baby. Yeah, the Yubaba's baby. The freaky looking baby thing. Okay, wow. Oh my God, it's the heads. Okay, so this room, this is also part of Yubaba's office or like Yubaba's room. It's the place that has those giant green bouncing head things. Oh my gosh, you guys, these giant heads scared me. When I watched this the first time, it freaked me out. Couldn't they, they could like shape shift and stuff, right? So here, the, this is very disturbing. But they just kind of like bloop, bloop, bloop around. Guys! Oh my god! It's my three brain cells! Sachi and her three brain cells. Oh my god, I hate this. It's me! No! <gasps> it's the furnace room! This is the room that I was talking about earlier with the soot sprites. So as you can see, we have some soot sprites carrying the soot into the oven or the furnace, I guess, in this case. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is quite insane if you think about how close this is to the movie poor judy she's like locked onto her own little island over there <laughs> okay so i believe this scene over here there's the scene in spirited away where chihiro takes the train with no face so we're heading down the train tracks <gasps> oh my gosh no no oh my gosh no way it's the cat bus it's the cat bus from Totoro. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Uh, and then over here we have Totoro. So we can stand behind and put our faces through. That's slightly terrifying. <laughs> I hate that. That's cursed. I'm in the cat bus, you guys. Look. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. So we are right next to the ferry boat that we saw earlier. We're just off to the side. But this looks like another photo spot. I'm getting so many ideas for my tropical themed island and creating like a big open pool area. But we have a big water 
like, um, we have a big water. We have a big lake over here. Oh, this looks like we're heading up to a shrine. And I think this is also based on Kaguya as well, I wanna say. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh, it's Haku. <gasps> Wow. Okay, so uh, another Spirited Away reference over here. Okay, so now we are over on the right side. Oh, hey, it's Chihiro. I've got to get out of this place. That's so cute, but also sad because she's terrified. Oh my gosh, this is... Ah, okay. So in Spirited Away, unfortunately, poor Chihiro's parents get turned into pigs. The pigs get taken to like a farm or like a, not like a farm, but farmhouse. It's like the place where they store livestock. The bar, okay, a barn. Yeah, let's go with a barn. I can't believe I forgot the word barn. I'm very tired, you guys. Like this week is killing me. My my three b brain cells were bouncing around back there. Stockyard, yeah, maybe a slaughterhouse, stockyard. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. We come across someone else's house over here. <gasps> it's Haku. Meet me at the bridge. Ah, my heart. I love Haku and I love Chihiro and their whole like storyline together. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, wow. This is beautiful. But it looks so peaceful in here and I love the glow as well. It's really nicely decorated. So um, I guess first off, we're gonna head into this right room. And then this is a bedroom over here. So I, this, I'm guessing this is a Sanrio house, Sanrio themed house. Um, we have the butt rug, but Amanda has tastefully covered up the butt part. It's so cute. Dessert themed room. Oh my gosh, this is like an e-girl room. Yeah, this is totally like an e-girl streamer room. All we need is the stream setup. It's very sweet, very bright as well. Oh, this is a mermaid themed room. Cute, so this is not a Sanrio themed room, but this is using the mermaid and shell furniture. So I love how this is set up. When you first walk in, there's just like a giant shell, there's beds and couches over to the side, and then there's star fragments scattered on the ground for a little bit more of an extra glow. That rug needs some ass leggings. You know what, I think you guys need Jesus. Ooh, cute. Okay, so this room up here is a little bit of a mix. So as you can see, we have a lot of bunny day items. There's bunny day items everywhere. And there's some My Melody stuff in here as well. Kind of a nice little assortment, but very like bright bubblegum colored and lots of stars and, and rainbows and clouds. This is the cinema roll themed cafe downstairs in the basement. And then, yeah, we have just, you know, a place to sit and have a nice sweet treat and have some coffee or tea, you know, just enjoy the happy, like beautiful colors in this room. <gasps> this is cute. It's, there's a seating area on the rocks here with some books and cake. I love the colors of that it's so vibrant oh my gosh you guys it's sophie hatter's hat shop oh this is hell's moving castle themed oh my gosh i love this so if you've ever watched Howl's Moving Castle, the main character or one of the main characters, Sophie Hatter, she works at like a hat shop or like a tailor shop. I know that's gorgeous. And even over here, you can see like her signature hat. So in the movie, she wears like a straw hat with um, like a bow on it, but that's the hat. Hayao Miyazaki has Sachi's One More Mindset. He really does. He really does. So um, if, you, if you've never watched the movies before, the director, his name is Hayao Miyazaki and he's really really like famous for studio ghibli because he's created so many like beloved films back in like 2001 i want to say after spirited away came out he was like okay this is my last movie i'm retiring and then like three years later he put out another movie and he was like okay this is my last movie i think it was howl's moving castle next and then he put out another movie and was like, okay, now this is my last movie. And he's just kept putting like, there's like 10 movies later. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm done for sure now, guys, I'm done. And then he's probably gonna come out with another one. Oh, okay. So this is the path that we saw when we um, first entered the dream address. And yeah, if, if we go around this hallway over here, it brings us back to resident services. Man, Amanda really put in the work and the efforts. This was 
next level. I think this is truly next level. So yeah, I think if you are a fan of Studio Ghibli films, I highly recommend that you check this out for yourself. Um, I will include the creator's Instagram page, her ACNH Tours page, and her dream address in case you wanna take a look around yourself. It's really beautiful, and I think any fan of Studio Ghibli films, especially Spirited Away and like Totoro, and um, was like House Moving Castle, any of those movies, I think you'll really, really like it here. So thank you once again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I have more island tours over on my channel, so you can check those out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>